today we're going to start our exploration in Ilfracombe, Devon, before heading across Exmoor into Somerset and looking at sites at Dunster and Taunton. Then we'll head further southeast into Dorset, look at a site at Shaftesbury and finish off in Blandford. The curious amongst you might be wondering what an air message service box is. Some AA telephone boxes were permanently manned, at least during daytime hours, and AA pilot members could drop a message via a streamer down to the waiting patrolman if he needed to send on a telephone message. It was normally only permitted to drop water or loose sand from an aircraft, like ballast from a balloon and the AA had to seek dispensation from the Air Ministry to allow these streamers to be dropped. And so on to Ilfracombe. The AA landing ground was at West Stowford Farm, some three miles southeast of Ilfracombe town. The landing ground was open throughout the 1930s, but appears to have closed at the outbreak of the Second World War. In spite of its closure for such a long period of time, little seems to have changed, except maybe for a wire fence across the field. There is no record of how often the site was used by aircraft, but certainly the Sir Alan Cobham National Aviation Day visited for a flying display on August the 23rd, 1932. Dunster is a highly picturesque village in West Somerset. And everything in Dunster, including the castle and the landing ground, were owned by the Lutterall family. The landing ground was situated just northeast of the village, down Sea Lane, close to the Great Western Railway and the railway station. The landing ground was open throughout the 1930s, but appears to have closed at the outbreak of the Second World War. Even so, little has changed. The site has just gone back to agriculture. Probably the biggest change is the storm drain that has appeared just to the east of the site to carry overflow water from heavy downpours that rush down from Exmoor. Happily, the Great Western Railway is still there. And Steam Hall too, being part of the West Somerset Railway, running from Bishop Lydyard to Minehead. The Taunton landing ground was situated at Hayden Farm, some two miles east of the town. It actually comprised of two fields, and pilots must have cursed the cow manure as they washed it from the underside of the wings afterwards. Taunton has expanded considerably in recent times and it's noticeable looking at these old maps how many orchards have disappeared but even so the landing ground at Hayden Farm is little changed from pre-war days. You can see the M5 motorway cutting through just west of the site. The Shaftesbury landing ground was a decent sized field some mile and a half or so southeast of Shaftesbury town itself. Like all the other sites featured in this video, it appears to have closed at the outbreak of the Second World War. Study of maps and earth imagery available shows comparatively little has changed at Canfield Farm in the 80 something years since the flying field closed. Intensive farming methods have meant the removal of some hedges and boundaries, and of course the orchards have gone, but it looks close to its 1930s self. The last landing ground featured in this video is Blandford. It was situated on the Salisbury Road, some one mile 
northeast of the town. Unlike the other sites featured in this video, even in our wildest dreams we couldn't really reopen Blandford. It's disappeared now, sadly under a housing development. 